Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give another example on interpolation formula C. See the statement of the given problem. Apply suitable interpolation formula to estimate the values of y at the points x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 22. Okay, this is the given data. First row has x values and second row has corresponding respective functioning values of y. Okay. Clearly here we are observing that the values of x are separated by the equal difference. What is the equal difference between the x values? 5. So here h is equal to 5. And uh, number of given data points n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So up to fifth order differences exist in the difference table. So here we are going to find out the y values at the both points x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 22. Clearly x is equal to 8 lies in the first half. Okay, almost it is starting of the data. That's why we can apply Newton's, back, Newton's forward interpolation formula to estimate the y value at x is equal to 8. But x is equal to 22 is at the ending of the data, which is at the, between 20 and 25. So 22 lies in the last interval. That's why we can apply Newton's backward interpolation formula to find y at 22. Okay. So, simply you can take sideading difference table because in similar problem we are going to use Newton's forward and Newton's backward. That's why uh, don't take particularly forward difference table and particularly backward difference table. Simply you can take difference table. First we should consider the difference table. See. First write x values. In the first column and uh, y values in the second column after that write delta y and uh, delta square y and uh, delta cube y delta power 4 y and finally delta power 5 ok write the x values not 0 5 10 15 20 25 last value is 25 ok write the respect to y values which are 7 11 14 18 24 32 okay so what is uh, 11 minus 7 just uh, subtract from lower value to upper value and write the difference in between them only Le 11 minus 7 which is 4 14 minus 11 3 18 minus 14 4 and 24 minus 18 it is 6 32 minus 24 it is 8 3 minus 4 minus 1 4 minus 3 1 6 minus 4, 2, 8 minus 6, it is 2. So, 1 minus half minus plus 1, which is 2, 2 minus 1, 1, 2 minus 2, 0, 1 minus 2, negative 1, 0 minus 1, negative 1. So, minus 1, minus half minus plus 1, <coughs> 0. In this way, you should calculate the difference table. Okay. If data has uh, decimal places uh, otherwise uh, very large values then uh, it is better to use the ca calculator to complete the difference table. Okay. Take side in part 1. In part 1 we have to find we have to find y value at the point at the point x is equal to 8 which is at the starting of the table starting of the given data hence we can apply hence we can apply Newton's forward interpolation formula Okay, that is 
y of x otherwise you can write f of x also very very first term is y naught plus p into delta y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into delta square y naught plus next term is p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial into delta cube y naught plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 into p minus 3 by 4 factorial into delta power 4 y naught. Actually here we have to write another term also in the formula but uh, fortunately delta power 5 delta power 5 y is 0 that is why it is not necessary to write the next term in the formula <coughs> do not worry. Here what is the p value you can take this is equation number 1 and find out the p value in the formula x minus x naught by h what is x value here x value is 8 minus what is x naught x naught is 0 and uh, xn is 25 similarly y naught is 7 and uh, yn is equal to 32 ok. So, x naught is 0 by h what is h value 5 already I told you interval difference is 5 8 by 5. So, 8 by 5 means 1.6 ok it is passed do not forget it. Okay, substitute these all values in above formula. So, y of 8 becomes y naught. What is y naught? 7 plus p into what is p? 1.6 into delta y naught. Do not forget whenever we are going to apply forward difference table, uh, notice forward interpolation formula, please round off the first corner values in the table. Okay, so this is y naught and this is delta y naught this is delta square y naught and this is delta cube y naught since y naught is first value in delta cube uh, in the delta cube column first value is delta cube y naught so this is delta power 4 y naught this is delta power 5 y naught so uh, delta y naught is nothing but 4 plus p into what is p value p value is nothing but 1.6 into 1.6 minus 1, 1.6 minus 1, which is 0 0.6 by 2 factorial into 2 factor is nothing but 2 into delta square y naught, which is minus 1 plus 1.6 into 0 0.6 into p minus 2, and uh, that means 1.6 minus 2, which is minus 0 0.4 by 3 factorial which is 6 into delta cube y naught which is 2 ok plus 1.6 into 0 0.6 into minus 0 0.4 into p minus 3 1.6 minus 3 which is minus 1.4 by 4 factor 4 factorial is nothing but 24 into delta power 4 y naught which is negative 1 ok now we have to evaluate this entire value by using scientific calculator see seven plus it is seven plus bracket open 1.6 into 4 right close it is negative term negative 1 negative term is there so positive into negative is negative directly you can take negative sign between, between before the terms so 1.6 into 0.6 into already it is 1 it is not necessary to type 1 into 1 by 2 ok so here also we have only one negative term inside so positive into negative negative sign take this sign take this symbol 1.6 into 1.6 into 0.6 into 0.4 into 2. You can also type this 2 in numerator. Write in the division 6 directly. Ok. Here we have 2 negative signs are in product. So, oh, we have another sign also, another negative sign also, which is negative. So, take the this symbol 1.6 into 
0.6 into at a time we have to evaluate entire value okay 0.4 into 1.4 into already we are eliminated negative signs directly that's why don't type again negative signs into 1 this is already 1 it is not necessary to, to type 1 in product divided by 24 which is 12.7696 right in the bracket approximately and everybody knows that y of 8 value should lies between y of 5 and y of 10 so our answer should be lies between 11 and 14 so maybe we are getting the answer exactly okay 12.7696 okay similarly in the part 2 we have to find out the y value at x is equal to 22 c in part 2 we have to find we have to find the value of y y at the point x is equal to 22 which lies which lies at the end of the data end of the data hence we can apply we can apply Newton's backward interpolation formula first write the formula of Newton's backward interpolation so which is y of x y of x is equal to y n very first term is y n plus p into nebula of y n ok p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial into nebula square y n plus p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 by 3 factorial into nebula cube y n plus p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 into p plus 3 by 4 factorial into nebula power 4 y n ok take it equation number 2 here what is p value here p is nothing but x minus x n by h what is x value 22 we are going to find out the y value at x is equal to 22 that's why replace x by 22 minus what is x n last value in the given data in x series which is 25 okay so 22 minus 25 by interval difference is 5 okay so which is 22 minus 25 minus 3 by 5 it is minus 0 0.5 6 negative don't forget it in Newton's backward interpolation formula p value is always negative now we have to substitute these all values in the above formula so you will get y of 22 y of 22 is equal to y n what is y n the last value in y, y n series it is not necessary to construct again a difference table okay that um, we can uh, represent all forward difference values and backward difference table uh, backward difference table values at a time so please round off the last corner values okay this is y n and nebula y n nebula square y n and this is nebula cube y n and this is nebula power 4 y n okay always don't forget it nebula power 5 y n is equal to delta power 5 y naught okay here what is y n 32 plus what is p value minus 0 0.6 what is nebula y n 8 okay see next one is p into p plus 1 what is p value minus 0 0.6 recently we got p value is minus 0 0.6 that's why into minus 0 0.6 plus 1 which is 0 0.4 you can also use the scientific calculator to evaluate p plus 1 by 2 factorial is 2 what is nebula square y n nebula square y n is 2 okay plus p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 in p plus 2 by 3 factor into nebula cube y n but nebula cube y n is 0 here so don't write all terms here simply you can put 0 plus <coughs> next term is p into p plus 1 p into 
P means minus 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 1.4 into okay so P plus 3 which is minus 0 0.6 plus 3 which is 2.4 by 4 factor is nothing but 24 into Napoleon power 4 by n which is negative 1 okay now we have to evaluate this entire value in calc C. 32 minus bracket open 0 0.6 into 8 bracket close and uh, one negative sign is there inside so directly you can take negative so 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 2 by you can write 2 okay plus 0 it is not necessary to write plus 0 here and uh, here we have one negative sign here we have another negative sign minus into minus positive directly you can take positive sign of 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into you can take this symbol 0 0.6 into 0 0.4 into 1.4 into 2.4 into 1 it is not necessary to type 1 here mm. right in the denominator we have 24 is equal to so which is 26 point double line 36 and don't forget to write the approximately for the solution okay we are observing that we are observing that y of 22 should lies between y of 20 and y of 25 your answer should be lies between 24 and 32 c so clearly our answer lies between 24 and 32 see this one. this is the conclusion okay